Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Rosalinda. Hola, thank you so much for being here girl. Welcome back to another vlog. So today we have a lot to do, mainly a lot of cleaning, organizing, and decorating. So I know I am very late. It is like five, six days into the into the month in, of December and I'm barely putting up my tree. But remember, I was not feeling it. I wasn't sure that I was going to put up the tree, but we brought it down. I set it up. I put all the box up. I took out all the decorations. My little living room is filled with stuff everywhere. So we need to figure out the place of the tree because it's now that we have the couches, because last year, if you remember, I didn't have any couches. So it was in the corner and that was not there. I think I had it over here. So it was, it was perfect because I didn't have anything really in the living room. I just had the tree and I put it in the corner. It looked really pretty. But this time around, I have a fully furnished living room. Oh my gosh, the CH is always so hard for me to pronounce. Um, And I have so many things that like the living room's already so tiny and I have the corner couch now and then that corner is occupied this could be in the middle but I feel like look it's like in the way look we're gonna get rid of that tv like it's already like we need to get rid of it it's too big and I don't like it in the corner and plus it stopped working right now it's like it turns on and everything but it doesn't um show really well so I'm gonna have Uchido remove it and originally I wanted the TV over here in this wall because it's such a big wall. Like, I'd rather have it there. So I think it's gonna be there. I just know it looks awkward. Miren, y miren todo mi cochinero acá, everywhere. So that's what we're doing today. A little bit of deep cleaning, organizing, and then decorating the tree. So I think we'll start off with this area right here. Um, so let's do it. Okay, so right now I just put all this stuff right here and then I just have the other decorations right there. Fun fact, I ended up getting all this stuff, except for this, I had this already. All of this stuff, I actually got it after Christmas. I went to Target and everything was 80% off. So I got some of this stuff for like three, five dollars. Nothing was more than $10. And then I got this too, I got some more of this stuff. The um, ornaments and the decorations that I use for the tree are in here. Um, we have oh, one gift. Well, Wichito has all his gifts right there. He just has to wrap them up. And the couch in the middle, and then my little table, and then the other couch. So it's kind of like a lot. But I need to organize. But I think we can do it. Okay, I feel like let's start off with this area first, and then move on. All right. I didn't fully finish, like, opening the tree up. I just kind of set it up, and I did this. But I feel like these trees are good because you can always move, fluff them up more. Like this part, I didn't even fluff it up. I just took it out of the box and put it up because I was okay. I need to get rid of the box as well. I need to put it all up in the attic so I don't have to have it around here. It pushes me more to like, you know, actually set up and do all of this. Porque girl, if not, I would not, not be setting up the Christmas tree. So I think I'm going to start with the Christmas tree. I do need to like do a really good vacuum. I need to move the furniture and then vacuum really well and mop. I got a new steam mop, which I'm excited for because this really needed a good little mop cleaning. So I think I'm just going to, I don't know if I should do like fast forward. And you guys can see me clean everything and then come back. Maybe that will be better. Let's see if I can. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do the fast forward. I'll clean in a snap of fingers and then we'll come back. organize it a little bit more and then I fluff up the tree that's about it it's taking me like an hour and a half girl so I need to get going I think I'm just gonna do the 
tree de una vez. So I'm gonna put the, oops, I'm gonna put the skirt and then just start doing everything just to see it all. And I think I'm just gonna keep it there. Like I think that's going to be the best part for the tree. I have the window open right now, but I'll probably close it so you can see it so you don't see the glare. But I think that's it so far and I just need to clean stuff out of there, but I got rid of a lot of papers that were there. So, so far so good. is in the lights so you can't see it with the lights or anything and i don't know about the little the stockings for the dogs down there maybe i should put them right in the middle so i'm gonna move those and but so far everything's almost set up i just need some spheres so i'll probably do that at the bottom there at the bottom um but then i'm gonna put these that i got from the shop hitana warehouse sale when i went last time and denise the hitana herself it gave me this with my baby girl dory look how cute it's a little angel has her name right there so we're gonna add this one in this one we're gonna put it right in the middle and so cute oh look it's so cute i love then i'm gonna put these other four and then i'm gonna move the dog stocking and then I have mine rolled over there then I put some trees here have some stuff kind of spread around it's kind of hard to put <laughs> the Christmas stuff around I need to still move some stuff around but girl I'm moving let's go I'm excited now I finished the living room oh it looks so much better everything nice and organized so I just decorated the table with that I decided to put the little blanket I still need to hang those but I'll do that later and the tree looks so cute it'll probably be way better once the lights are like once you turn on the lights I think it looks so cute meet him meet him meet him so cutesy those are all the stuff that we have to pack up and then i hang that there and then right here i just put these and this one is so cute because you get to move it and then in the bathroom i just put some of these little christmas trees little christmas trees saben que ahorita me quiere dar como gripa and i feel like it's already been a couple of days but i'm fighting it girl i'm fighting it strong i've been taking this immune support and i feel like it really does the job you like spray it spray it in your mouth and then you swallow it and it's propolis which is like this part of the honeycomb and it has like a lot of um, immune support and then i have my regular pills too so i'm doing that but i think i just need to like rest like i need to listen to my body when it wants rest it's asking me for a nap but <laughs> i have so much to do so i'm just gonna keep drinking water um, i'm gonna do my pills i really want to do a matcha should we do a matcha i'm like oh it's Mean support and I want a little ice cold matcha. I don't know. I feel like I deserve it. But I like it when everything's organized and I really love my tree. Okay, I love it. I love it. I know. I was like, no, I'm not gonna put it I'm not gonna put it up, but I'm glad I did. It's giving me the holiday spirit. I'm in the holiday spirit. I still have we st we're at the beginning of the month, so we still have time. Glad I put it and then once we have all the presents around it'll be so cute. But let me get I think I'm just gonna have a matcha. Then I make some food as well, but I'm going to continue cleaning. My table is full of stuff. I need to get the room um, all cleaned up as well. So we'll continue cleaning and organizing.
look i didn't know that um this was gonna fit this table because this one's for the round table but it fit this one it looks so cute huh and then i got this one at um a target today but i don't know if it fits this whole look because i already have this little thing going on right here and i feel like it's like a lot i'm gonna try it out see if i like it so far i'm loving everything clean and organized chef's kiss for me Okay, I also got this oil diffuser from Hearth and Hand because they had a 30% off sale only today at Target. I got the, um, the scent Pampas. I love this brand, it's so good. But this is my first time trying, I think it's called a wreath, wreath, R-E-E-D. So basically this is the oil and then you're gonna put some palitos on it. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. I am the worst at opening these things. Let me just twist it. Okay, let's go, let's go. Hopefully this like airs out really well. I'm going through my candles like crazy because I just I just have them on all the time. Oh, this smells really good, Pampas. I recommend. Okay, so you're just supposed to put these sticks in here. In here like this. And then that's it. It says to give 24 to 36 hours. And then when you don't smell it that much, you can go ahead and flip, flip it the other way. Let me know if you guys ever try one of these. This is my first time. I'm going to leave it in the living room, I think, because that's where the dogs hang out the most. So that's like the smellier room of them all. Oh, I already smelled. Mm, the pampa smells so good. But look how chic, everything from Joanna, she's so good. So I'm gonna set this up over there. They want to move my plant. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna set the lambre. Oh my gosh, I hate that my camera keeps doing that. It, girl, it, there's light in here. But I'm going to make a little avocado toast from make, I'm gonna use a gusto bread. You guys know that I love that bread, the sourdough. It's three. Should probably start dinner, but girl, I still have stuff to do. So a quick little a midday lunch will be cool. So it's gonna be a little avocado toast, and I think I'm gonna do that matcha as well. I'm drinking my water, girl, but I also want a little matcha, a little pick me up. You guys, I love this toaster oven or fried. What is it called? Air fryer. So good. We have another one at Costco on sale. That's all stainless steel. They're really great. They come in handy. <laughs> you guys remember my debacle? Well, I don't know if I did it on a vlog, but I have this stove and this was like a hand-me-down stove because we didn't have a stove, right? When we moved in here. So this stove doesn't have the numbers on the oven. So whenever I use the oven, I'm just like, where do I turn it? I just I just go based on like how hot it gets and then if things are taking too long, I'm okay, I need to crank it up a little bit more. So I don't know. <laughs> and sometimes it just gets annoying to do that. So I'm like, the toaster oven for cookies. I made cookies, I made brownie in there. Perfect. So toasters oven come in handy. Let's take out my stuff for my matcha. Oh, you know what I got from Hearth and Hand as well? I got these salad like grain bowls, they call them pasta grain bowls and I wanted something like this because we only have these like flat ones and I wanted one like this because I make a lot of like bowls on the go and I already have this one this one I think I, had, I got it it's kind of the same got it on um, clearance but I like the shape of this one better again which is gonna be like they're all the same <laughs> which you don't isn't it so funny like I don't understand the aesthetics of what we want or what we need. Okay, so I'm gonna do this matcha. Let's boil some water. I've been doing it without boiling the water. Like, let's try it with the water. It's just faster to do it without having to boil the water. Let's get this. And oh, I haven't made matcha with you guys. I do it on Instagram a lot. And then I use this matcha from Costco. 
and I forgot to get more agave from Sprouts. So I put a little bit of agave. Let's get ice. ice maker manual ice maker i oh i forgot to fill it up i emptied out the ice now we're going to fill her up i feel like i've been really good about filling it up but then i forget sometimes i i think it says to use half a uh, tsp this is tdsp one tsp tsp is that this is tablespoon, so I need a teaspoon. I think this would be fine because I always end up doubling it. It just says to put half, but I always put one. So I think one of these is supposed to be a bigger size. Would be better, but I do like that much. And then I usually just put it in the cup. Yeah, that's good enough. And then I do that. And I also measure the water because you can't put too much either. I think I do two of these. Or the water, I just mix it. I think I need more water. Honestly, I always eyeball all of this. Look. There you go. I need a little bit more water. Super green like this, like way stronger. Okay. And then I usually just put this over here. And I'm going to try my raw milk for the first time. I mean, it looks pretty normal to me. It definitely smells more like milk. It doesn't have cream. Oh, it says cream top, whole milk. I don't know. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of that. It smells more milky, definitely. You know when the milk is white? Cause regular milk, like regular raw milk it's like a little yellow so they always put this is process called hydri something that they do to write to the milk at the grocery store to make it white so it's like more eye appealing to the eye which i think that's dumb but you know like that's what they do for what is it called not consumerism but just so i guess like it's just better to see like with marketing it's always like what's more appealing to people to see and I think that's why they do that. Which I think it's fine. Like the yellow, I don't even think it's that yellow. Like, do you guys think it's like too much of a difference from white milk? Like, it's, I don't think so. And this is it. Then I'll mix it. You guys know another great investment I've made so far is these glass straws. I love. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Perfect can't even taste the milk like it's not even that big of a difference mm, okay but my secret to my matcha is that <laughs> i bring milk from work sweet cream and then i just make a little bit of a foam and then i put it on my matcha i mean i could buy sweet cream but i'm like i don't like to have it too much because then i'm like okay i need i want more can't be having this milk every day girl but it's like a little tree, you know, a little pick me up. You guys, I feel like I had not felt like the sickness until right now. It literally just hit me. I was just about my day, doing my thing. And then it hit me like a truck. All right. I put a little bit of the sweet cream. I mix it. Mm -mm -mm. so good and you don't need that much sugar and I only use a little bit of agave and I think I put a little bit of sweet cream so who are we kidding who are we kidding there's a little bit of sugar in here but other than that like you don't need too much or like you, you can always add because this one I've seen no mess. see it's like really strong this one cuddle toes nothing too fancy I just get the whole slice of this, the sourdough bread, and then I put the avocado. Oh, I think this one's bad. I'm so picky with my avocado. Okay, we'll just cut off the, the bad part. 
But you know what too? I hate it when the avocado is like squishy. Like, oh, no me gusta when it's squishy too. It's another one. And then I just put it right here. Okay, after that, see, cinema is very simple because it's going to be a snack. Get some more energy to continue. And then I just do pepper. And I do a little bit of avocado oil. <laughs> That's all I have. I think I should get like a little, a little one of like olive oil. And right now I have lemon, so I put lemon. And look what I got for the lemon halves, because I always just end up using one lemon. And so I got these little things, but they're not like, so you save them. They're supposed to like, you square it and then the seeds don't go. They're just little fancy things. But, and then another super tasty thing that I got is this Maldon salt. I love salt. And I usually don't cook with salt, but I like it like on top of stuff just like sprinkled not like like cooked in but this salt is like flakes so it's so good on avocado toast look i know it's a lot but i saw it at costco look i saw this influencer she always has this this kind of salt and she always puts it on her avocado toast and it always looks so good it's a little bit like that with a spoon and then that's it and then there you go little avocado toast so let me eat my avocado toast sip on my matcha get another energy wave of energy but you guys my place is looking so cute i'm so glad i did it like no quería but it's so cute okay i got a second win girl i feel like I feel so much better. I think I just needed to eat, but I did. I do feel my throat, and then I was. I feel it. I feel it like when the, the little cold is coming in. I feel it. But after eating, I feel so much better. So maybe I was just like getting to the point where I was really hungry. But I didn't feel it like I was. It's not like that. I was hungry. I was feeling it more like over here, this area. But after eating, I feel so much better. So let's get back to it. I really just need to do the floors and then just organize the situation, get ready for wash day tomorrow. So I'm excited because yeah, casi girl. And then I'll show you guys the vibe with my candles on and everything. And this a deep clean and putting up the tree, getting ready for Christmas day will come to a close. I feel like I accomplished a lot and I love, love, love organizing when things are just like in place. I don't show you my room that often because again <laughs> very uninspired by it and this room is just like everywhere all the time i need to i need to like be more organized like that is always a mess girl that has become my new um junk drawer which i need to get it together and not <laughs> do that so let me continue uh probably mopping and sweeping right now or vacuuming and then um, i'm gonna move to the bathroom and then to the room at the end we are officially done with our cleaning and decorating for Christmas. Okay, I'm glad I did it. Everything looks so good. Let me show you. I should probably turn on the light so you can see. We still have a few things that are here and there because we have the presents in the corner. They need to get wrapped. And that's about it. But for the most part, I think we're, you know, ready and set. But now, let me see, let me see, let me take it all in. I feel the spirit. I feel the Christmas spirit now. Let me show you really quick. Get the little puggies right here. I got, I just got them that, um, yes, my lord, yes. The little cobijita at Costco. It's supposed to be like waterproof and dirt proof. So it's pretty good. They love it. So this is what I have right here. I need to clean that. It's kind of like the stuff where like everything just goes in there but look at how cute i decided to put those stuff there and then this actually looks really good on here i think this came out really good i i'm glad that it fit and then i think i'm gonna like put these away the brown ones and then just keep the red and i decided to keep my regular pompas i didn't wrap my cuadros i should and then I put that one there my bags usually just go there that's the stuff that we have to wrap if I look at the tree, so cute, huh? Now it looks more like, now you can see it more because the light. 
But look, I still need to put the sferas, but look at the tree. Look at my little living room. Looking so cute, see? This looks cute too. Oh, I love it. I'm definitely feeling the spirit now. Now, así como lo miro así, you know? I'm like, oh, so cute. Not like too much, but it's something. And I'm glad that I did it because now I get to see it. And I'm like, okay, Christmas time. It's coming up. And I see like this and I get more inspired to like be in the Christmas spirit. Be a little bit more joyful and a little bit more happier. So, thanks for everybody who told me to put it up. <laughs> Even my sister and Rolo told me to put it up. So, Everybody told me to put up the tree. I did, and now I feel so much better. I'm glad I did. I also did a really well-deserved cleaned in here, the living room organization and the, the kitchen. So I'm glad, and I'm trying out some things. I'll let you guys know the steamer is really good. I'm going to try out the little caddy thing over here, see how it goes. Um, and then the diffuser thing, it's really good. It smells delicious here. I just moved it to the room. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully, that you guys enjoyed this cleaning, decorating video. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming along, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.